So as Smogon University said, you can choose to believe these tier changes or not. I'm personally going to believe them. There's data to prove it. And we're going to be going over them today. So tier changes for the month of April on April Fool's Day. Welcome back. We got some more tier changes. We're just going to be discussing them real quick. Just going over some of them. Um, and yeah, let's just get right into it. So starting off, we'll go with the rises as per usual. We got Mr. Garganachi going up to OU. And we also got the Oxic Speed uh, Iron Moth. Yeah, Iron Moth. Holy cow. And Miss Rabombi all going back up to OU. So that's four new Pokemon. Four new old returning Pokemon to OU, which is pretty wild. Um, Pretty wild to see a whole four Pokemon jump, especially considering... I guess three did drop. Okay, so that kind of makes sense then. Um, I have not looked at what these Pokemon range on the OU usage scale, but we'll see that in a second. So I'm a little surprised about, I'm not surprised about Iron Moth. I was shocked Iron Moth dropped in the first place. A little surprised about, no, I'm not surprised about Rabombi. Yeah, actually either. Webs is really good in this metagame. I am a little surprised about Deoxys Speed just because I haven't seen it that much. And same with, I, I guess I have seen Garganatch quite a bit, but I have not seen that much Deoxys Speed. So kind of surprised that's racing too, but um yeah that's interesting uh i mean oh he's not going to change much obviously um but yeah that's 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 the rises right there so we got some more rises though we guess we don't have any rises of uu which is kind of disappointing because i like talking about uu uh, we do some drops we'll talk about in a second but no rises to OU, uh uu are you um looks like size sites terrain spam is getting popular again because these two fools are here uh mr armor rouge and Mr. I don't even know your name. Necrozma. That's right. Then we got some NU to RUs, some more NU to RUs. Uh, Mr. Overquill and Chansey. And I actually know, oh my god, this construction, bro. I apologize, folks. Uh, I know why Overquill raised. Uh, Overquill, uh, rain. I actually just played RU last night. And um, RU is having a bit of a rain heyday with Politoed, um, Basque Legion, female. And, uh, oh my gosh, what's your name? Crawdaddy, yeah. So, I'm guessing that's why it's in RU. I'm probably going to play some more RU, uh, because there's another Pokemon over here that I've got to talk about with RU. And it's Wacky Moon to ZUDP. I don't really care about that. Um, holy shit, I think they're taking down the, oh my god, they're taking down the whole, every tower, bro, on campus. Holy shit. Okay, anyway, drops. Let's get into the drops. So, three OU drops. We got two to UU, Pelokinetic, and... Iron Boulder, I think is your name. I don't know. You, I just know you have shit typing. Um, so this guy, he's the fastest guy in the OU metagame. Um, because of booster energy. Uh, but, uh, it sucks. Terrible typing. It's, it's bad. It's really bad, actually. It should be better in UU because there's Psy spam in UU. And that'll protect, uh, this guy from priority moves. I'm guessing this might get banned within the quick band um not really sure though i've said that about a lot of things recently and they haven't ended up being true um i didn't say that about the oxy speed though the oxy speed did not get quick banned so i was right about that one um rain has fallen out of favor though because bear Scuda and pelicanetic are dropping into their tiers now if you folks are wondering why bear skew is dropping all the way from ou to ru when a pokemon raises from a tier lower than the one directly below it and raises to the tier above it when it drops from that higher tier it drops back down to the original tier it raised from so for example if chancy came all the way from pu to ou and then it fell out of usage it would fall back from ou to pu that's just an example um so yeah that's interesting seeing rain fall out of usage sun has been very popular so i'm surprised rain's falling out of usage as a counter weather but it looks like torkoal is a superior weather setter right now in the metagame Jirachi has fallen to RU. Doesn't really surprise me. I never really saw Jirachi a lot. And UU, so that doesn't surprise me. Fraligare is down to Inu. Um, that does kind of surprise me because I figured that would have been good with Politoed Rain, but I digress. Uh, Inu to PU. There's a, Okay, I, I just played RU yesterday. Wait, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, so, but Belly Bull is in you, really? Okay, Belly Bull is an amazing Pokemon, folks. This Pokemon's so annoying. It's so strong. It's so tanky. It might be the greatest Pokemon of our generation. I, we just don't know it yet. 
Um, so I'm a little surprised seeing it all the way down in PU. Um, Altaria, I'm surprised that's down in PU as well. I was just using it as a rain counter yesterday because it's not really a good sunsetter in uh are you i guess you could use nine tails uh og a uh, nine tails cantonian um but i used it in cloud nine altaria and it was doing a pretty good work so um i would don't don't take this at face value i would recommend trying it out honestly um it is a pretty fun pokemon to use uh other drops here um i'm a little surprised about Satitan, but i don't know where a bomb oh Okay, never mind. I'm not surprised about the Titan then falling. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, not not really anything else really noteworthy here. Oh, Screamtail's all the way in PU. That is insane to me, because Screamtail's pretty good Pokemon. I feel in the upper tiers. So we're gonna have to try offensive Screamtail, but this time in PU. It just keeps getting crazier. I think this means I could be wrong. I believe this makes. Screamtail, the lowest paradox Pokemon among the rest of them, which doesn't surprise me. It's a fast, bulky support Pokemon. You know, it's kind of like not. It's not exciting to use. It's not pretty to use. Um, it doesn't have immediate healing, which I think really hurts it. If it had like soft boiled, I think it'd be a lot better. Um, but it only can heal itself with Wish, and I think that really hurts it a lot. And you don't know if you want to run leftovers. You want to run both leftovers and heavy duty boots on it and obviously there's not an item for that because the pokemon competitive community would ban it immediately if there was first of all and second of all like it would be op as shit so there's not an item for that thank god but um yeah that makes that makes sense zu don't really care about zu to be honest but that's your zu drops all right on to the next what do we got ou usage that's correct all right so we're gonna zoom out top 10 right here um landorus therian is so back baby number four in usage which is crazy to me considering it almost completely fell out uh a few months ago it was like literally the bottom like the final pokemon like shoestring pokemon holding on in usage um which is crazy now to see it at a healthy number four healthy as in it's probably not going anywhere um so yeah landorus therian supremacy i guess good good stuff Dude, I think they are literally taking down an entire fucking building behind me. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pause and look at this shit. I can see it from the construction from my window. And what it looked like is they were just taking out like a column or something or moving some shit. I don't really know. I don't care. That's the last I'm going to talk about it. I apologize if you guys can hear it. Anyway, King Gambit's still a number one. But it's actually fallen in usage quite... There's, it's Okay, it's still the number one use Pokemon at 35%. But what I'm saying is... Um, it was like eclipsing the rest of the Pokemon usage, but now it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more in tune with everything else that's in the top 10, which is makes sense. Um, I hate seeing Raging Bolt here. I actually really fucking hate Raging Bolt. I'm going to be honest. If there's one Pokemon I can ban for no fucking reason, not because it's too OP or anything, it would definitely be Raging Bolt. Just because I hate looking at this thing. I hate fighting it. It's dumb Pokemon for dumb babies anyway so as for the rest of the tier okay so let's let's look at the pokemon that race ou where are they at um iron moth was at number 34 garganachi was at number 31 um deoxys speed was at number 39 and rabombi came in at number 42 uh this is the second month in a row superiors barely hung on to ou we'll see if that stays true or not um hmm. there's not really anything else super notable here i don't think uh, Loma has been steadily climbing. Uh, Darkrai climbed in usage a lot too. Um, I, I'm still pissed about this sleep ban. Still don't really understand it. Why we didn't just ban Darkrai instead of why we banned an entire status condition rather than banning the problematic Pokemon. That seems very backwards to small one. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it at that though. Uh, Dragonite's fallen quite a bit. Number 60, Lyscore score has fallen out of the top 10 too. Uh, but it might have been, it may have fallen, fallen out a bit ago. Uh, the two stall lovers, the two stall gate lovers, number 27 and 28. Um, I don't really have any bigger thoughts about this. Um, I, I guess the reason Pelicanetic Rain fell out was Torkoal's down at 36. But, again, we'll look at the stats in a minute. But before we look at the stats, I want to give a shout out to the lower tiers because we are going to be looking at that really quick. 
and just overall i'm not going to go into super too much detail on each of them but i just want to give you guys a full vision of everything in case you guys are interested in case you guys want to see it um i'm not i i i think the only thing the only storylines to really pay attention to here in my opinion that i've been following that i think are interesting um is that Mariah and Koryden are both super top of Ubers. I know they wanted to ban Mariah I don't know if they did or not. I'm going to guess now because there's not an asterisk next to its name or anything. Uh, but I, again, I'm not sure. I, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to Ubers news. Uh, Basket Legion, number seven at 21.7%. Yeah. I know they talked about banning last respects. Um, so I don't, again, that's another one. I don't know if it, if it went through or not, but yeah, I, I'm not. 100% sure, <laughs> but um, it, it's been it's been up there in usage. Uh, Calibrex Ice at number eight is also pretty crazy. A prominent Trick Room user um, in the top 10 is uh, pretty insane, in my opinion. Um, UU, I think it is worth mentioning Deoxys Speed and Iron Moth were both top 10, and now they're gone from UU, so that void is going to have to be filled. Uh, I'm not sure what that void will be. I think it's also interesting that two very good uh, rain Pokemon are also in the, oh three excuse me Scizor is also a good rain Pokemon um actually Zapdos is a good rain Pokemon too so there's four good rain Pokemon here Scizor because it has fire type damage Zapdos Accurate Thunder and Hurricane and then Greninja and Zumarill just powers up their stabs so it'll be interesting to see what Pelipper does in the UU tier um are you nothing really there and you uh PU uh ZU I uh Shaman has dropped to number three um I know I did a Shaman movie a uh, few weeks ago um so yeah that's interesting to see all right last thing we always check our usage based tier update because i want to see the specific usage numbers so let's go down and look the thing i usually look at is the cutoff is the thing i care most about so i'm gonna zoom in here so i don't have to zoom in in post um where are is our cutoff so our cutoff was right here at superior superior was comfortably above the cut and iron boulder was comfortably below the cut actually which is interesting to see halucha actually is the third most used not ou pokemon which is kind of crazy to see i have a feeling skeletors will i i've, I've said this for a while so it's probably not going to happen skeletors raising up to ou i don't think it will happen but not that's still sorry skeletors um I don't think it'll happen at this point. I think I'm just saying this every time just because I think it's a it makes sense to me. But, you know, um, Garchomp at number 50. Uh, we know Garchomp's the number one used Pokemon. In, and UU right now, it's not even close. I don't think it got banned from UU. Uh, so that's interesting to see. Hydrapple is actually getting used a decent amount in OU too, which is interesting to see. But where is Pelipper? Okay, so Pelipper was all the way down at number 56. So Pelipper... So rain dropped off a ton is basically what this is saying. And I don't embarrass you is all the way down to 67, which is crazy low. Um, wow. That's actually so crazy low. Um, so yeah, rain was definitely done with this tier shift and it's, that wasn't even particularly close. Let's look at UU cause I do like UU as well. I want to look at the cutoff for that. Um, so Jirachi fell. So Dawn Fan was the last Pokemon allowed in the tier. Um, and then let's see, Mimiskyu. Mimiskyu is the number one, uh, number two used Pokemon, I believe. Number two used Pokemon in RU. So, well, this this will be an interesting one to watch. Um, Mimiskyu raising up to UU, um, if it does. And Chansey, Chansey's number forty-four. But this is a this is a very steep drop off, folks. A whole one percent between number forty. And number 41 is actually quite insane. That is a huge difference margin, in my opinion. Um, and then everything else is below 3%, which is kind of nuts. So I wouldn't even pay attention to anything down here. Um, I mean, yeah, you could, but it's probably not worth paying attention to. Uh, because if it's below 3%, it's probably not on the cusp or whatever. So that's all I got for today, folks. We talked about all the changes. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, I don't think this is an April Fool's prank. Again, they have the data. <laughs> so don't think this is an April Fool's prank. This is probably this is 100% serious. Um, so let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, what Pokemon did I not talk about that are worth mentioning? 
uh what do you guys think the tier shifts is tiers gonna be more fun do we think iron boulder is gonna be quick man i think that's one of the that's one of the one that's a one like prediction i i want to hear from you guys so thank you all very much for watching uh we'll see you guys in the next video i got a crazy avalook stall video tomorrow so i'm not over i'm not overstating that understating that i don't know whatever you guys know what i'm trying to say <gasps> peace